clever Very Christmas clever. time. You know, and you got to learn to have some fun. Relax a little bit. Doesn't, that extend, down. To the, doesn't that extend to the uh, celebrations it, as it, well? It, it not extends just the to the, the celebrations are fun. With the, it's football. You Let, know, yes. It's not golf, you know, where you got to be clap, you know. It's not those things. It's not, uh, you know. Let Antonio Brown twerk if he wants to. It's his party. He can twerk if he wants to. Exactly. A lot more with Troy Brown. He's hanging out with us all morning long here on SportsCenter. Hey, look who's here. Our Merrill Hodge with an unexpected quick Entry. You can see me. All right, voila, here. All right, let's talk about these Green Bay Packers. Everybody wants, remember when they wanted, even Packer fans wanted Mike McCarthy fired? Oh, by the way. Everybody's back. Now off they can of that. do no wrong. Uh, because Mike McCarthy made this amazing move, switching uh, Ty Montgomery, I'm giving him credit, a wide receiver, to be a successful running back during the for the Minnesota Vikings as they try to stop what the Packers are Linda, doing. Linda, yes. thank you so much. You're welcome. Well done. And I apologize. It's okay. We'll hug after. We'll have a group we hug. We already after. hugged. We'll <laughs> hug again. L, you got field. Yeah, I do. I have field yeah, with me because you guys are talking about what Ty Montgomery did. But we wanted, we want to use that information, something that we can actually use for ourselves, right? They just hugged, but they actually just hugged. They actually just, they actually did just hug off air. Nice. Uh, field, Ty Montgomery. We just heard Linda and Merrill talking about Ty yeah. Montgomery, who's been coming on the last few weeks. But what do you expect him, fantasy-wise, to do against the Vikings? Be a stalwart for your lineup, L. If you're still playing, you're obviously. They feel like there's so much that they haven't even tapped into with Montgomery, uh, which could spell good things if you are in said championship round. Let's talk about the Cowboys. They've got NFC home field advantage locked up in the playoffs. So not playing for anything but bragging rights nope. on Monday night um, against the Lions. Leading me to ask you what most people are saying. What should I do when it comes to Ezekiel Elliott Leave for the championship? Good luck. Why not? Come no, on. I'm just, I'm just the troll on group chats now. That's what I do. Uh, really quick, actually, this just happened and could also affect your fantasy lineup. Bob Holtzman reporting that A.J. Green will not play today per ownership. Yeah, the good news here is he actually made the decision. A.J. Green not playing today and won't play again next week as well. The Bengals, what's the rush what's in bringing the, him back? Championship round of fantasy. If you pick wrong, you're out. No pressure, my friends. No pressure at all. No it's a fun day. It's a fun day. Field, you never disappoint, and neither do your outfits. He's got the Christmas tie. He's got the reindeer popping off. Look. Welcome, everyone. So, Troy, listen. What's it like? You've been there. You're a former New England Patriot. You know all about being favored by double digits, if not more. As a player, how do you prepare for a game when you're such a big favorite? Well, you... Well, Being a member of the Patriots and all this, and how significant, because we as media types know home field advantage throughout the playoffs when your goal is winning a Super Bowl is so key. Pittsburgh, that is a Christmas game, so let's go down here to another game we'll see today. Just talked about them, Jets at New England. Who do you have here? Well, obviously New England, but, but I'm glad Todd Bowles will be on the sideline yes. with his team, and I think that will give his team energy. I think it'll be more competitive than people say. This right, Miami at Buffalo, Miami currently in that wild card spot. Who do you think wins this game? This is going to hurt some of our producers. Uh -oh. I know I hate doing this, uh, but Rex, uh, he'll find a way to slip With the up Dolphins on. at 9 and 6, and again, because we're not doing anything with Denver, that's how it would look again. What happens with Denver and what happens with the Chiefs has a lot to do with what happens with the Ravens and the Dolphins. This is currently how it stands. Herm, this was so wildly successful. Do you want to come back and do it for the NFC playoff picture? Would NFC love to. You, to. you don't have a choice, Herm. Well, I'm, I'm back. Okay, perfect. Talking I love football. It. There we go. We're talking football coming up. Well, this season is about giving. And for Jimmy Butler, it's not just giving us an entertaining game to watch each and every night. It's about giving back to his community and the kids. Butler is involved in a local Chicago nonprofit after school matters that provides after school program opportunities to high school teens he recently surprised them at a nike store with a special gift during the holiday season who uh, give the gift of uh, championships to two players who critics have been on their backs of late and they don't know what they're talking about eli manning and ranger goalie henrik lundquist a lot of critics on their back go out and winners championship for their respective teams. You think Eli Manning wins another Super Bowl? He's solidified in the Hall of Fame. 
I think he's, he's solidified in the Hall of Fame right now. Two There's Super Bowl MVPs. I, 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 would, I would agree with you uh, on that. This might be the one that... Rings matter. The edge, right? Rings certainly matter. Um, as far as my gift, I feel like we've already been giving a gift. As a Broncos fan, I feel like we have gifted the rest of the NFL by pretending like we don't have an offense so that other teams <laughs> could have a shot at the Lombardi. You didn't have, and I you didn't have an really... offense last year either when you won a you Super Bowl. You know what, Linda, semantics. <laughs> exactly. Um, so that's, I feel like we're, you know, we're the gift that keeps on giving. You're welcome, Raiders. You're welcome. I think we need to move on. Uh, the best thing about being in Hawaii is when you don't work in Hawaii. Right. You just want to be in Hawaii. Mark Dominic, Kerm Edwards, and Troy Brown still with us. Hasn't left yet. Way to go, Troy. Yeah, yeah. Love that. <laughs> All right. Here. First question. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with Mark. Oh. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. What do you think we're going to learn from this full slate of games here on week 16? Well, there's a lot of great, great Lions and the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. I cannot wait till week 17 to see it. No, I think, I think Troy brings a good point yeah. because Tom Savage, it's one thing. Savage, guys, with Brock Osweiler. Tom Savage looks so comfortable in the pocket. Mm -hmm. And Brock Osweiler doesn't look comfortable in the pocket or anywhere he is. And you brought up hey. the Patriot. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to Buffalo anytime soon. That's the you got to worry that. about anymore, yeah. Zach. <laughs> well, we mentioned it, too. We mentioned it, too, that, that this is the exact kind of situation that faced them a couple of years ago when the Dolphins ended up getting blanked by the Bills, and then they end up missing the playoffs. So there is a blueprint and a formula there for this particular matchup. Before we get out of here, though, because it is – the season yes, to be giving out gifts, Linda. Yes. Um, we already gave our gifts yes, out. We did. I want to know uh, one gift or one team or one player Please. that you'd like to award a gift to. And I'll start with you, Mr. Dominic. Well, I'm going to go with Arthur Motes, linebacker of the Pittsburgh Steelers. She's like, why Arthur Motes? I'm like, well, okay. 